We've heard of crashing a party, even a wedding, but one West Valley cop is accused of doing something more, crashing a funeral and committing a crime. But four months later, she is still on the force and relatives of the man who died are not happy about it. Here's ABC 15 investigator Melissa Blasius. Terry and Steve Reppert were both officers on the Surprise Police Department. She retired after 25 years. He was going to do 25 years also. But Steve, a detective sergeant, sadly died in August. When he was off duty, the family arranged a private funeral. They invited fellow officers, but there was bad blood with Steve's boss, Sergeant Teresa Arviso. So the family said they left her a voicemail saying, don't come. I just assumed that her professionalism would kick in. But Arviso did show up up at the funeral. Inside, sister-in-law Kirstie Vernon said she asked, could you please leave? And she looked at me and she said, no. The request allegedly repeated again and again. Are you really taking a seat? I've asked you nicely to please leave. Kirstie said the lieutenant sat next to a uniform and armed commander and she would not budge. I've never felt so intimidated and harassed and bullied. Terry, the widow, was kept in a back room. When I came out, the coffin was closed and I didn't get to see my husband. That's what upsets me the most. Later, Terry called Surprise Police to file a report. Why didn't she leave? She's an officer, a lieutenant, a lieutenant. She knows what criminal trespassing is. To avoid a conflict of interest, Surprise gave the info to Peoria Police, who recommended a criminal trespassing charge. Peoria's police report said Arviso refused to leave the funeral home until Surprise Police Chief Terry Young personally spoke to her, reiterating the family did not want her there, as well as the fact that it was a private service and they had the right to have her removed. But by December, Terry said no charges were filed and no one would tell her why. I'm a victim and I'm getting nowhere with this case. The ABC 15 investigators called and emailed. Why wasn't a prosecutor reviewing it? After more than two weeks, it finally surfaced. The county attorney's office said it just received it. We also reached out to Lieutenant Arviso in person and by phone for an interview. Her police union sent a statement saying what happened at the officer's funeral was an unfortunate misunderstanding and Arviso was polite at all times and left shortly after being asked to leave. When all the facts have been considered carefully, we don't believe this incident will warrant any sort of prosecution. Lieutenant Arviso remains on duty at Surprise Police as an internal investigation is conducted. The department issued a statement saying they are committed to maintaining the highest standards of integrity, professionalism and accountability. But Terry, who you remember as a retired surprise officer, she's not so sure. The one bad thing with the police department is they take care of their upper echelon. They hired her and they don't want to look bad. The Maricopa County Attorney's Office still deciding whether or not to file an official criminal charge. ABC 15 will continue to follow up on this police widow's case to ensure it doesn't just disappear again. I'm investigator Melissa Blasius, ABC 15 Arizona.